we do actually have another viewer submission here. This one could be just as busted. It's a ranged build on Alpha. I think it works just fine. It's as simple as this. This is the classic OP tactic setup. Double turret, throwing knife, electric whip. Um, but the the like kicker here is the fact that we're on the Alpha and now there's a backpack. And in the backpack, you want Alchemic Carbine, according to Rancid. Rancid wants to see Carbine in the backpack. Free Poison. Free Poison in the kit. Flame in the kit. Bleed in the kit. Thunder. It's all here. This is going to be called the Status Effect build. We say that because Rancid just said it. And I cannot seem to play Dead Cells any faster. Crap, these phasers. I'm just going to ignore the phasers. I didn't realize I didn't turn them off. Now, this is also the nerfed Tesla coil. For any of you all who saw the patch notes, Tesla coil got its damage lowered. So you'll be able to let me know if this indeed looks like a nerfed item. You know, maybe you'll look at this and say, you know what? Maybe it needs to be nerfed some more. I'm pretty sure it was a community suggestion, right? To nerf no, it. No, 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 no. Look at that damage. We're dead. Yo, think of that damage. Lurg. Happy to have you here. As long as, I mean, not as long as, as well as everyone else today. Uh, does whip count as melee or range? It actually counts as range. So when we get the backpack... Well, I guess the backpack fires off on every attack. I thought it only fired off on ranged attacks. So I was kind of surprised to see that. Ow. This is probably going to be disengaged, by the way. I will learn my lesson and take disengage. Pretty sure purple backpack only fires off with range in the main hand. Yeah, so yesterday we had... Uh, what was a seemingly busted build? It was survival. I um, mean, I guess I did have. A ranged weapon. But I could have sworn that we actually swapped the ranged weapon off and it still fired no, out. But no, I could no. be wrong. Look at that damage. We're dead. Why is whip S tier? You don't know how to use it. So the whip in this scenario hits multiple targets. Um, and you may not realize that. So you really don't want to be like fighting inside the mob. You might see me doing that, which is very wrong. That's a throwing knife. Uh, but so long as you're kiting backwards, you're actually going to hit, like, every enemy in, like, a straight line. Which is, like, kind of insane. But it's surprisingly good. And look at my malaise. I have, like, none. I don't know what happened. Were there no monsters on the map? I'm not going to go over there. There's a lore room, but I'm going to skip it. You only dual buy now. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I synced it. Yeah, it's surprisingly effective. Alright, so new backpack. 
free alchemy carbine. Don't have to worry about attack speed. Don't have to worry about, you know, the animation doing that like long range freaking fully extended arm gameplay. No, all you have to do is play normally and it just comes out. How many enemies must you kill so that the infection clears as in a percentage? It is 10% remaining on the map. But yeah, to those asking about how to use the whip, you can kind of see. So long as you keep a distance, you're going to hit everything in front of you. And like that's the true power, as well as the shock. Shock is pretty good too. 10 enemies remaining? Yeah, 10%. So, if you're in a, uh, BC door, like a door that you opened up, and there's monsters behind it, it's actually gonna require you to kill them and clear that map, too. You have to disinfect. This actually might show it right here, if there's monsters. Alright, there's no monsters. But yeah, if there were, I would have to disinfect that room by itself. Oh, can we get the happy birthday? Or will it just die for free? Okay, not bad, not bad. Stream Raiders already, wow. Uh, but yes, I do plan to do another tier list, a real tier list, for 2.1. Yeah, Rampart does give you the bubble. Force Shield does not, because that requires you to hold the button down. And you can't do that while rolling. Or so I'm told. Alright. I mean, I feel like I don't have to buy anything. Not to say this is free. Like, I thought the last runs were free. I'm going to get that language out of my vocabulary. Oh my goodness gracious. Conjunk is going to get destroyed. It's not even going to be fair. Not really free. Not expensive. Yeah, so as long as I get the uh, 60 kills. And when pl I'm playing custom mode, like I get free gear, free upgrades. Which in all honesty, I think that's the true power of custom mode. Is a free upgrade, like every time you see an item. Fighting Mama Whip with Electric Whip feels good. Did I say Mama Whip? What's that effect when I roll? That's the new mutation. It's telling the player that you now have a <laughs> Alchemic Carbine that's gonna fire out for free. And it's like, wow. Thank you, game. Uh, now, when it comes to busted backpack stuff, uh, one person in chat did mention Javelin. That's probably in the top five. Another weapon that's surprisingly effective in the backpack. Why did I buy that? I can probably find one for free. Highly effective in the backpack is the boomerang. Boomerang. Like, it feels awkward to have it in your, like, actual equipment. But when it's in the backpack, it's fine. <laughs> like, it just comes out for free. Javelin's nice because Javelin, like, pushes all the enemies away. 
but boomerang is like just dps and there's no ammo to it same with javelin kunai first slot blood sword second with the bleed stuff we actually had one of those as a viewer submission um, in season one and it was pretty strong i didn't like get super into it because i i'm a blood sword hater i guess like as simple as that i'm a blood sword hater oh we never did the rating for Tiago's build. I feel horrible. I'm so sorry, Tiago. Once we get the prison depths, let's do that. Only reason why I'm not doing it right now is because I want to, like, watch chat. Freaking map. Shout out to anyone who's been to uh, Arboretum this year. Oh, this is a tiny Arboretum. And again, I don't feel as though I'm going particularly quickly. I'm just kind of playing the game. Did you see a curse room? Uh, no. When you zoom out, it's definitely cursed. But when you zoom in, I think it's fine. That would have been awful, because I was just killing stuff nonchalantly. Okay, so we just disinfected the map, as you can see. But when we walk into here, my malaise is actually going up again. We have to do another disinfection. Wow. You all get so many legendary items when I do viewer submissions. Where do you get Alchemic Carbine? That's in the uh, transition room for Toxic Sewers, right? Can anyone uh, fact check that for me? Arboretum's the best? No. Only if you have a build to support it. So, like, Electric Whip goes through Mushroom Boy shielding. Like, when they cover themselves to, like, avoid the hit, Electric Whip still kills them. So that's why I decided to come here. Like, this little guy right here, he's gonna hide. I, but I can still kill it. I mean, the fact that it's in water helps for sure. Uh, but trust me, it would still take damage. And the map is like decently mobby, so I can kind of just kill stuff without even realizing it's there. What in the world is that doing there? What? Yeah, I don't have exclamation point wiki yet. I was asking somebody the uh, other day that maybe we should make a command where you all can just do like exclamation point alchemic carbine, no spaces, and like it would tell you everything about it. But we're not quite there yet. We don't have the sophistication. Rank 9 Alchemic Carbine. Bonus damage to Electrified Target. Interesting. It's a little bit of a level up. Um, let's do... Typically, you could take, like, Gastro. Yeah, in all honesty, I don't think I need a ton of stuff just yet. I don't even like taking Disengage this early. And that might be Famous Last Words. It's probably famous last words. We're gonna lose. You can eat infected food after you clear the map. You won't take malaise. Should it though? Should it be allowed? 
Maybe I'm like doing it like canon in my brain. It's not supposed to work. So because of that, I'm, I refuse to do it. Anyone else doing it is a dirty exploiter. Unless you're in my chat, then you got you all are fine. Do whatever you want. Everyone else though. Mm -mm. All right. Oh, don't forget that electric whip gives you that flotation too. So like you can attack midair. And the monster is gonna die and like can't defend itself. Wow, I was looking at Twitch chat. Ooh. We got that for free. Nice. It kind of makes sense because the infection is clear. And then it's also risky to not drink meat. Not drink, but eat immediately. I guess that's true. Yeah, maybe it's the boomer in me. That just transformed. But it's fine. Once I get a new... What do I need? I feel like my throwing knife is pretty good, but maybe I need a new one. I already do poison. <laughs> Something else transform. Ah, I didn't jump high enough. Oh, that didn't transform at all. That was a real elite. What? Hey, Shadow. Wow. So I was looking at chat, and all of a sudden I heard the shock activate from the Tesla. It's a little scary. It's like an alarm clock for streamers. Yo, we're jamming right now. Is this a viewer build? It is. This is courtesy of Rancid. This was submitted last Saturday. So you all can already see I'm already behind on viewer builds. This is why we're going to be doing nothing but viewer builds in December. Oh wow, it's already disinfected? How big was this map? It must be tiny. Carbine might be the best thing for backpack for tactics. There's a lot of really cool ideas. Um, I would love to show you all, all of them, but I don't have the time slot for it. Like, I think I'd have to do it on my own time. But you all did say that you think you would like a video like that. So that's already, like, good news for me. God, I knew I messed that up. Oh well. I think there's food on the map. And I have gastro. No, I ate the food instantly when I saw it. See how you can just like float over the monster's attacks? That's part of what we're talking about with the electric whip, the kind of things you can do with it. That, in my opinion, make it good. We're gonna go to Conjunctivius, I believe. Oh, nice. And just to say, the reason I'm not going to Moras to fight Mamatic, we actually have someone who wanted to see 
uh, a viewer submission where I specifically have to go and fight Mama Tick. So we're gonna save that because this build is like kind of similar. I mean, not really, but I kind of want to save it. All right, let's do. It's gonna be support. Like I'm so bad about not taking disengage. There we go. I'm not V, but custom mode got you through early BCs. Yeah, definitely don't be afraid to experiment. Either. Not only are the builds themselves worth experimenting with, but also if you want to try custom mode every now and then, it's perfectly okay to do so. Yeah, they're putting all kinds of weird stuff in front of me. This is the exact same thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure something spawned behind me just now. Yeah, nothing's gonna beat that carbine that I just got. Actually, no, that's not true. If I get a carbine that does both shock and bleeding damage, it's going to be actually unfair. Also, thank you everybody for assisting each other, giving tips, answering questions. That's what it's all about. Because we've all been there. I was stuck on 2BC for at least three weeks. Streaming 2BC. I actually had to stop. And focus. Okay, game. Oh! <laughs> I should have lost instantly. Like, the game should have just ended. Alright, there's a mushroom somewhere. Yeah, engine, we're doing it. Like I said, remember you got flotation. Spikes? That has to die. I'm trapped. Hey, we're out. I need seven enemies. Mummy? It's getting a little interesting. Okay, that thing has to die. Like, seriously. It keeps spawning in front of me and, like, actually scaring the crap out of me. Why are there spikes there? What purpose would the game have to put spikes there? Crap. That's fine. I should be dead? I agree. <laughs> like, this has been definitely one of the funniest maps yet then again when we were playing the uh the last viewer submission we used all our health pots before conjunctivius right
So, I mean, technically, this can't be any worse. Bleeding damage and slowdown damage. Burning oil damage. Versus bleed and poison? Maybe not. Curse was way too close. Gotta keep you all on your toes. Make sure nobody's sleep. Make sure I'm not sleep. Actually, with the way I've been playing Dead Cells lately, you all probably <laughs> assume I'm sleep. I had coffee today. I ate before the stream. So, like, what is happening? I'm actually not sure. Crap. The tentacle went the other direction. So, as you all are looking at my health, consider the fact that we are playing on the new patch. The malaise is taken up. And we're gonna be reaching like a pretty decent number. Um, does burning oil do anything for me right now? It doesn't. So maybe we swap. Probably should have left it, but I don't think I'll see burning oil damage on like a kunai. Hello. <laughs> it's an odd place to spawn. Thank you, Cena. But yeah, I don't plan to go any faster than I already am. I don't consider myself going much faster, and I've been saying that every game. But this is a probably the highest malaise count we've seen. And all I'm doing is I'm going to keep killing. You know, what else can you do when you play Dead Cells? Uh, by the way... Below that teleporter was the roll spot for the carbine. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's cool to see a 5BC runner while you are only on three. Yeah, that's what we're here for. I can't hit that. I guess that thing just stays down there. All the foods infected. I know you all told me I should just use it after the map's clean. You literally just told me to do that. And I sold it anyway. It's not that I'm not listening. It's habit. I can't pop. Where are all the purple amulets? I can't break from my old ways. Where I sell every infected piece of food I see instantly. Can I do a timekeeper over explain video? So, foo, why? I well, I would love to do that. Oftentimes, when I get a timekeeper win, it's simply because um, she couldn't like defend against the build. 
I feel like Timekeeper is very build reliant. Where the better you do is depending on the items you have. Um, and that might be kind of unfortunate to say, but I don't have a lot of like gameplay tips that change the way how that fight goes. It's like you either have the turret, I mean not the turret, you either had the the shield or you melted her or both. Maybe you had a shield and you melted her. Um, I don't know if it's possible to get two things at once. But basically, because I don't have like a good, like the giant and hand the king, I had a lot of stuff I could say about those items. I mean, those monsters. But I didn't quite have the same for Timekeeper. Even Conjunctivious, I have a bit more I could say about that monster. Burning oil damage on this and bleed damage. Electricity. I want like a busted synergy where like everything just works. But it's like, it won't possibly give you everything at the same time. Bleed Propagation. I'll go ahead and take it. Alright. This is so sad. I didn't get 13 monsters. Is Triage worth taking on Hand of the King? I think so. Because you could also get knocked into the pit. And like, lose all your HP that way. And in that regard, being able to heal like as soon as you get out of the pit might prevent you from just getting killed while you climb up. All right. Let's bounce. Conjunct. Custom mode privilege? I know. That's what I was saying. I think that's the strongest part of custom mode is locking equipment. Helvos, got you the 5BC. You didn't know why you told me to just get to and beat the giant. Ended up finishing the run, kill Hand the King because of busted build. Nice. Yeah, I tried to keep it spoiler free. But yeah, did blow everything to kill the uh, giant. Absolutely. No disengage, by the way. And remember, right now, I have five malaise. Um, so the idea is that we're kind of high on the malaise count, but it's okay. I don't have a shield, so I'm just going to come up here. Okay. A little meltation going on. That was kind of bad because I didn't know which way the tentacle was coming from. Oh my goodness, I almost got hit by every single one of those. Remember, they nerfed Tesla. Alright. Oh, uh, rip, no hit. And again. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, I'm sorry, are you using both weapons at the same time? How? Um, so, one thing that we discovered decent number of patches ago is that when you put two weapons on the same button um, the game 
decides how that should come out. Um, some weapons, it doesn't work very well, but with other weapons, it does. Oh, this has oil on hit. Maybe we take that. So we have burning oil available to us. And then this is graveyard for sure. Can't go slumbering with this. Um, so when you look at my build, I have two items on square. What that means is that every time I press square, the item on the left comes out first, and then the electric whip comes out after. And you can kind of see that. When you reverse it, it actually does it the other way. It does the whip first, and then he throws it. And if you spam, you don't get throwing knives at all until you stop. Conjunct didn't remove the malaise. You're right. Well then. <laughs> That's not good. So unfortunately, this may be a map that we have to use a health pot because my malaise did not reset. Um, so we're going to see some decent amount of monster spawn. And it's going to look scary, but hang in there, chat. We will be fine. How many hours do I have? I think I'm still not at 1200. I think I'm at like 1180. Last I checked. Low scrolls for conjunct. 14 instead of like 18. Very true. So the melt could have been even stronger. And what I'm actually missing, we haven't gotten any amulets. Except one purple amulet. I'm not sure what that's all about. It's like now that I have a melting build. So, um, Tiago's build earlier, that one was a one shot build. Like you find a monster and you one tap it. This build is about melt. And now that I and melting enemies, apparently. I'm not allowed to have purple anymore. Oh, we got the bonus cells. Let's go collect. Hello, alien. Mali's reduction on killing boss no, is just no, flawless. No, no. I don't think damage. so. We're dead. I was getting it yesterday. I don't know why I keep wanting to go down those pits. I don't think there's anything down there for me. Yo, look at the cells. We're about to donate cells to Twitch chat tonight. Of course, that's not possible. Just FYI. But wouldn't it be cool if I could donate cells to you all somehow? Like if I win a run, then the contest rolls. And whoever wins gets like... Five cells or something. I don't know. Or maybe like five cells per whoever is in chat. We do have the busted version of the kunai. This is the one that bleeding spreads to nearby enemies. No, no, no. And if no. you find Look that, that, that really We're helps dead. for biomes. Wow. Good job, whoever that was. Someone was trying real hard. Hey, we did it. I spam square and the monsters vanish. Ow. You know, I feel oddly tanky. And again, no purple. Wait. 
rat just spawned in front of me. But yeah, this doesn't feel half bad. And because I'm using Gastro, I can just eat food and hopefully get my uh, health back. Domesticated rat. A good boy. Or a good girl. Good boy or sweet girl? I think that's what it is. They buffed Tactics HP. They did, but like I got hit a couple of times and I feel like I should have got embodied. And I did not. Which is interesting. Just killed Ratatouille. Also a movie I've never seen. You know, there's a turret that gives you bonus damage while you're near it. Burning oil on the Tesla. I probably should have taken that. Oh, I... Okay. So, I keep forgetting to do the rating for Tiago's build. So, let's just do it while we play. Because I can't be trusted. So... Remember the rating system? It's a zero if the build is gonna give you nightmares and or you were having a nightmare while I was playing it. It's a 10 if you had a different kind of dream after a sweet dream <laughs> after watching me play that build. Remember, that was the phaser with... Oh my goodness. Wow, that thing was actually going for me. All right, we did disinfect the maps. That's good. It was Phaser with Seismic Strike. Where the concept is, is that you lock down the monster with Phaser, and then you keep swinging with the Seismic Strike. Now, I did screw it up. Um, I messed up the actual weapon itself. What you want to have is a weapon that slows all enemies, and I didn't get that until very late. So it definitely would have looked better if I had that earlier in the game. Um, I saw some 8s, 6, a 10. Because you didn't see it, you gave it a 10, okay. I said phaser, so that makes it a 10. I think every build so far, we've done... This is our fourth viewer submission. For C oh no, we have to find the curse. Interesting. All right, we're probably going to take the curse into Sepulcher. Just call it a day. Um, this is our fourth build, and it I think it's the first one that didn't use Phaser. 7 out of 10? Okay, I think we can clear the curse right here. Yeah, if I happen to get the victim slow all nearby enemies, I would have given it probably... A solid nine, eight. It's tough. It's tough because, like, there's brain usage required for the seismic strike on some of the monsters. So, because there's brain usage, I don't want to give it a nine. I want to just make it a, a, a clean eight. Wow, I just hit my con my keyboard. Um Yeah, it's probably an 8, if not a 9. So long as you actually get the right weapon. 
If you don't get the victim slow, it's definitely like a six. Heart of Ice instead of Open Wounds, then I think I would have to replace the uh, Flamethrower with something like Knife Dance. Because you want something with a long cooldown. I'm just getting hit by everything all of a sudden. Uh, hi V, how do you move the backpack to the third slot like that? Um, excellent question. If you go to video. Um, this is only on alpha, so you have to be on the brand new alpha patch. It's right here. Uh, place le sac a dos a cote des armes. It looks like there's a transparency slider also, which is kind of cool. Uh, did you know Dead Cells is so popular they made the RMB a real instrument? As well as RMB is now a thing. That's the deep lore for everybody else who wasn't aware. Alright, let's eat this infected food. Dirty exploits. Confirmed. I'm gonna go to caverns. Oh, wait. This thing's still here. I can go past this, I think. I'm not dealing with that. Actually, I think that's a real elite. And not a clone. It doesn't look like it healed my malaise anyway, even if it was a clone. I mean, it wasn't a clone. Yeah, only real elites could have shields. You're right about that. So clearly it was not a clone. But oddly enough, it must be because I already disinfected the map. It's not going to give me more malaise reduction. Let's get out of here. I'm excited to fight some giant. I'm not sure if I want this build against the giant. I might swap off Gastro for um, networking. Oh, here it is. 10% bonus damage while you're next to the target. Which would affect all of my abilities instead of just like affecting the flamethrower itself. Heart of Ice phaser stunlocks everything. It would be broken. Yeah, but like I said, I just want a different mutation, not different mutation, a different skill besides a turret if I was going to do that. So I can get full value off the CDR. Have I tried Curse Sword in the backpack? No, I haven't. I did hear people say that it doesn't kill you in the backpack, which is interesting. But no, I have not tried it myself. I actually don't have a lot of time with the alpha. What you all are seeing is um, technically like day two alpha for me. That got a full heal. That's sick. Yeah, I believe Electric Whip does go through the Warthog's back. Do spawn enemies count towards the kill counter? Let's find out. It counts towards curses, we know that much. I'm at 12. I think that counted, but I think a monster died at the same time as that zombie. Are turrets still good? Yeah, I think turrets are actually too strong, still, even after the nerfs. I think the issue is their cooldowns are too short. Like every platform I walk up to, I have my turrets back. I think that's kind of excessive. Yeah, that gave me 21 just then. I don't think nerfing the damage is the move. I think they can keep the damage high. But lower the, uh, I mean, raise the cooldown. Probably double 
for a lot of stuff. Flamethrower is 12 seconds, Tesla Coil is 10 seconds. And I feel like 10 seconds is borderline nothing. Oh no, you really gonna show me this now? While I don't have disengage? Crap. You have to use it, right? I just don't have disengage. Electric Whip with double damage is really good. It like almost makes it a whole different weapon. No, 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 no. Look at that damage. We're dead. Yo, thank you for that damage, whoever you are. 90 bullets per minute. Beats per minute. Could be anything. All right, we got the triple purple. So now this has become a glass cannon build. Not that it wasn't previously, but this is about as glass cannon as it's gonna get. No, 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 look at that damage. We're dead. Yo, welcome, Danny. Oven night. I was about to say, is it actually gonna come down here or what? Oh, we're going to be massively leveled up by the end of this. I want to drag these over. No, 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 no. Look at that damage. We're dead. But see how I'm like two-shotting most of the monsters? That's the double damage electric whip. And I know like taking double damage is scary, especially when you're not using disengage. But I feel like Electric Whip, like, just plays so well. There's not a lot of weapons that flow so smoothly. Like, you can cancel a lot of the attacks. It has range. It has flotation. It just does a lot of stuff right. Where double damage seems to help. And help isn't really the right word. It's more like make it incredible. Until I get hit. Then I'm going to start complaining. Um, the other day you got double damage for free from green electric lightning. Lightning board. That's a classic. I don't get to see it very often. But it's always really cool when that shows up. Brazil is midnight? Doesn't Brazil have like three time zones? Oh, we want the uh, level 12 Teslas. I want the exact Tesla that Elon Musk is driving. And we're getting that off this map. We're at the actual Tesla factory right now. Oh my goodness, my infection. But again, I'm not rushing. I'm just finding it funny that like this map is nine miles wide. Oh, I just threaded the needle. That could have been really bad. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a disengage game. I know we were saying that I should just use disengage for now on because I keep dying. Brazil does have four time zones. Yeah, it's... Like, I know it now because of work, but 
whenever I think about how Brazil is like further into the Atlantic than the east coast of the US it's always like super taken back to remember that I would be at two or less malaise because conjunct didn't heal me yeah I didn't deserve the heal apparently level 12 do I still need the propagation not on the giant burning oil I don't really need burning oil I think pretty sure the uh, carbine is giving me my oil hello Love how these things keep they can just roll up on us like that. They don't know chat. Burning oil damage. I want a new carbine, one that spreads oil and deals bonus damage. That's 40%. I guess I should be looking at all of these. Burning oil 100% but doesn't spread oil. Crap, I didn't get it. Uh, so we want like bonus to poison, bonus to bleed, bonus to <laughs> electricity. I want it all. Uh, why is there a flash when I roll? That's the mutation. Is letting the player know that you're giga busted and you have the most busted mutation available on the market. That's the backpack one, the one in the first slot. It's basically like prepping your bullet. Wow. <laughs> I don't even want to look at that. Like, whatever it is, it's just gonna tilt me. Uh, hey, Ultra. Is it possible to see the affixes on the backpack item after you pick it up? Yes. Besides just going to a shop and seeing the same weapon, because obviously it'll replace itself. Not obviously. But it will replace itself. Oh, there we go. Bleeding damage spreads oil. Uh, but to answer your question, you can actually hard drop it by holding down R1. Then you can basically look at it or play with it or do whatever you want. Are we done? No. There's a crap ton of map left. Wow. Why is there so much map left? Bonus to poison, bonus to electricity, damage reduction. See, this is why I can't do, like, one stream. And finish, like, three builds. It's because I'm doing stuff like this. I'm, like, min-maxing. Where I probably don't need to. Then again, it's dead cells. And just earlier, we thought we were okay. But come to find out, the game says otherwise. About to be busted AF. Yeah, this is, uh... I gotta, I gotta pilot it though. That's the problem. We need to be able to pilot these builds to success. Wow, this stuff is actually just dying. Everything else seems so much tankier. I think the game just gave up. I mean, and that's fine with me. I don't mind. 
All right, we have... We have to get that throwing knife. And then we'll be good to leave. How are you using backpack without a two-handed weapon? So, Shadow Hunter, this is the new alpha. The new alpha patch actually added um, the backpack to everybody. And it gave us new mutations, too. So now you don't have to worry about, like, ooh, do I take this weapon? Hoping that the ice shards are going to show up later. Now you can, because you can kind of just carry it. And not have to, like, worry too, too much. Yeah, exactly, Pop. That is 100% what I'm saying about double damage. Oh, this does bonus damage while you're near it and damage reduction. That's hilarious. Okay. Uh, let's re-roll this a couple times. See if we can get burning oil. And we did. That's not going to help for biomes, for, but for bosses, it's going to be amazing. Alright, networking. Support. Disengage. No backpack. Crap. I don't think you need the backpack for this. Famous last words. I'm pretty sure you swap the backpack back in for Hand the King. Get rid of networking. Everything else is the same. But for the giant, you want the networking in this build. 100%, I think. All right, let's get in there. I'm not going to get my oil source now. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I misplayed. Crap. Oh, baby. That's what we like to see right there. After all the crap I had to deal with today, it's only fair. That's the nerf Tesla coil, remember. But obviously, we're way beyond busted right now. There's no way that no, 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 no. he could What's survive that, that, I think. We're dead. Bonus to burning oil and bonus to electricity. Y you have to, right? There's no choice. Burning oil on the flamethrower. No. Trust the backpack. That was 27 tactics. Are we low on scroll count? Again? Thank you, everybody. 27 is low. Crap. Unbelievable. I don't think this can get anything... ...besides, like, Flame Trail. Jeez, oh, I really don't want to just look at this. I'm gonna sell it. Dual Bind Carbine. This is a viewer-submitted build. Even though I didn't even give Rancid the choice. <laughs> Rancid may have wanted to see that. Like, one alchemic in the front and one in the, uh, backpack. Why don't I collect cells? I can't use cells. There's... We're, we have everything unlocked. Sorry, I shouldn't say I can't use them. I actually have everything unlocked. Alright, backpack. Support. Disengage. Of course, big thank you everybody stopping by today. If you're here for the first time, I am B.me. We're playing our main game right now, Dead Cells. Been playing this game for quite a while. Doing guides on YouTube. We're doing viewer submissions right now. Uh, we did challenges like the Nuzlocke. I actually cannot AFK. Though I did get my malaise healed on the Giant. So there's that. Rotate. Ah, uh, he was able to get off two actions. Oh, 
Oh. My turrets are long gone. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Double damage, by the way. When you're playing tactics, you can lose at any point. Like I said, getting the right affixes seem to really matter. Is it possible to have three of the same weapon with backpack and colorless? I'm gonna assume no, derp. Unless it's two legendaries. Because when you do get a duplicate, the game actually makes you swap the one in the backpack. This one I will test. If I get double damage on the kunai, I'm probably going to keep it. I don't think it's happening. I mean, those are really cool affixes, but I'm not getting bonus damage. Like, at all. Interesting. Double knife is fine. I think I want the double damage electric whip. I think that's kind of too important here. Dual bind knives. Yeah, I... I could have. But I think the power... I think I can keep this. The power of double damage electric whip is kind of strong. Certify bus station right now. Yeah, this might be... <laughs> okay, I, I can't say too much because we are on a losing streak against this boss. Oh, not even Shantae can survive. Dead cells, though. Dead cells, it's only playing to kill you. No help coming from the game. You expect the worst. You might even wonder, like, why am I even playing this game right now? All it's trying to do is kill me. Like, what's... What's the point? I don't have a death sentence. A death wish. It's not like I love dying in video games. It's like, I don't know. It's like the one time you get a build like this. This is why you're actually playing Dead Cells. It's for the rare opportunity for some meltation. How long do you think it will take you to beat 40 heat? I hope it only takes me one night per weapon. Like, I hope I can do it first try every weapon. Is that bad? I mean, clearly that's... Uh... Gutsy to say that? Honestly, I think I'm halfway decent at that game. I just need to actually grind out the heat. Because I like doing that, besides just, like, jumping straight to the top. Why do I... <laughs> thank you. So, Shantae... Chat, what, what Yo, happened? thank you, Existent. What happened? Give the shout-out in just a second. So, Shantae is a genie. It's a genie. And that's basically it. That's the only reason why we call that monster Shantae. Have I ever played the games? No. Will I ever play the game? Probably not. I mean, I thought maybe I would try the new one. Shantae 5, whenever that comes out. But I'm not sure if it's ever going to come out. That thing had been teased 
during E3, I think, and I haven't heard anything else since. So yeah, that's the lore. I mean, like I said, I don't know the game myself. So for me to be talking about it like that is maybe a little odd. Hello. Apparently I gotta pay attention. Game is scary. And again, thank you all for stopping by. Like, if you think about it, like, to have someone go from YouTube to Twitch, like, to actually go through the motions of clicking links and stuff like that, that's, like, huge. And I try not to take that stuff for granted. So I really appreciate you all stopping by. I know we don't always stream in a time zone that's necessarily friendly for everyone. Um, so just having you all stop by to check up is also really cool. Thank you. You're in your bed right now. There you go. Nice, chill Dead Cell session. Maybe even play yourself a little bit. Get some uh, 5 BC wins, because apparently I can't. So that way you can fall asleep in peace. I mean, I don't know if I can fall asleep without getting a victory tonight. Really? Because she was inside of the ceiling, I couldn't actually hit it. Not gonna lie, I'm kinda scared for the spoiler boss. Like, I've died so many times to that thing in the last uh, two days. I almost wonder if I even remember how to fight it jump. That's the answer. Just jump. You'll be fine. I'm gonna eat this. Wow. Why did Tesla Coil kill that? I'm pretty sure she was on the platform below me. I'm intimidated. He got me shook right now. Uh, what do you think is more important? Do you think I should go for achievements or boss cells on custom mode? Um, so every so often we get people who mention that they they got whatever they got in custom mode and now they are ready to do that thing, whatever it is, in normal and they can't get it like they did it and now they aren't getting the credit and while i'm pretty sure the devs have done stuff so that you can get the credit i still get those kind of uh not questions really more like concerns from viewers so i would be worried not really worried i would prefer that you got your achievements and norms but like play whatever you have to if you have to play customs and then maybe you can like start a new account to get your achievements now that you know the game a bit more you can do that too or like if there is a fix to not getting your achievement then you might be fine I only play customs for the viewer submissions, so that's why I don't really know for sure. Last build of the day? Yes, Zed. Oh, I'm at 58. These are the last two. 
I don't want to cheese it. There we go. Nice, clean 60. Beautifully executed. Now all we have to do is top ourselves off. I want to say the build is fine. The only potential upgrade would be... Like, a throwing knife. But I'm pretty sure the only thing on the map... Our turrets. Why is Cursor in the backpack OP? Apparently it doesn't hurt you, but I don't know if it does more than that. Burning oil on the carbine and bleeding. Okay. That's an upgrade. Alright, we're ready. Time to lose again. I completely agree. All we're gonna have is disengage. It's actually kind of scary. But we have to jump. Like, that's really all there is. We have to jump. That's it. It's that simple. Burning oil again. Bonus damage. But we lose... Poison and electricity? Yeah, I think that's better. Uh, why is Throwing Knife Tactics Brut? You thought they changed it? So they changed it, but anything that has bleeding is also red. So it's like a caveat. If it's bleeding or burning, it's also red. Alright, so I mean, final build is gonna stay as is. It's disengage, support... And then we need the backpack in order to shoot the uh, bullet. I would imagine if we can just push the phase like as hard as possible. Stay in the air. Flotate. We'll be fine. Then again, 0% win rate right now. So you never know what will happen. Alright, but let's get to it. Um, I think... What do we do? Bow, fist. I did one more. I did sword, I think. Excalibur. Alright. Focus. See? That is so sad. I'm gonna drink too. It's like something about the hitbox on it. I just cannot avoid that hit anymore. We got two drinks though, so that's really good for me. Nope. Poison. See, I'm okay. Oh. Nice. I'm just gonna drink and kill it. Oh my god, unless he kills me. It's awful. What is going on with this boss? It, he hates me now. I don't get it. What did I do? I didn't do anything against this thing. Without me or nothing. I did nothing wrong. And apparently it just wants to kill me nonstop. 51 minutes? I mean, that's... It's not a PB, but it's probably close. Did he get buffed? No, it didn't. It's just that we are like always using a new mutation so like i'm almost minus one mutation every time we go into that fight um because i'm either using the backpack or i'm using fatal cadence or i'm using like scheme or something like that compared to the past where i would have like dead inside disengage support and like that's all i needed now i'm running like more stuff 
and that's why I think we're losing more often. Um, so what do you all think about this? Remember, 0 out of 10, 0 being I'm not going to unlock any of those weapons. And some of them are unlocked at the start of the game. So that means you're probably not going to play the game anymore. Or a 10 out of 10 is like, I'm not playing any other items. I'm just going to play these. Why, why even play the game without <laughs> that build? I, I may as well just not do anything.